This is P240 sandpaper, so pretty soft. And I'm gonna start on this side because this side's definitely not as bad as this side. This one will be quite a bit of elbow grease to, to fix, I assume. So let's get going. Just about done removing the original waterfall engraving. I've been sanding for about 15 minutes or so, and you can see the original engraving is almost invisible. So my plan today is to paint this undercoat on, let it dry, then paint the flat black coat on, engrave. Time to add the undercoat, and it says to apply two layers, but I'm rather impatient, so I'm just gonna do one layer and see how it goes. I'm just told to shake it, and let's see how hard it is to open this. Oh, shouldn't be too hard at all. I can feel it coming off. Cool. We are in business. It's great to know now that I can actually make a mistake like I did with this cutting board and sand it off if I'm willing to invest 20 minutes to, to get it off. I mean, I got probably 99% of the other engraving, previous engraving off. It's been outside in the sun and some breeze for about 30 minutes and it's completely dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the next coat. We'll see how this goes. Another 30 minutes and the paint is completely dry. Actually, the board is burning out here. So I think we're ready to try the laser. Got everything ready to go. The freshly painted cheese cutting board framed up. This is the, the art project that I want to go ahead and try to engrave. It is a Stewart Island Kiwi bird. That's a photo that I took. I did some editing. It looks good. That's the preview. So that is how it should look. And the total engraving time is going to be 31 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start. The power and settings are going to look different from here on out because I'm officially transitioning to millimeter per minute, which is the recommended setting uh, by Lightburn. So this is 100 by 50 for CO2 settings, but now it's gonna show 6,000 by 50. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, we're both gonna have to uh, adapt to the diode settings. So again, that's millimeter per minute, not millimeter per second um, and 50 power. sure what's happening but that does not look right I don't think it's supposed to peel the paint off like this That's not what I expected. I, I changed to this image because the waterfall, I just could not make it look good in preview. So I knew that there was no way that I was gonna be able to, to make a good project, but that actually looked pretty decent. Now I'm wondering um, what I did wrong here because I've never seen anybody engrave in this, in this manner and have their paint peel. Bottom would be this area here, and it just doesn't look, does not look correct. Check it out. You can see the beak and the leg, and once I wash off the paint, it should be the, the effect that I'm going for. You can see the beak right there. The 
the laser engraving is all done and now it's a matter of seeing what happens when I actually wipe off the paint. So I've got some uh, warm water and one of those reusable cloths. So this is the moment of truth. Yeah, it's coming off for sure, but this might be a rather long process. After 10 or 15 minutes of heavy, heavy, heavy scrubbing, this is the final result. Nothing was engraved as it as I had planned it to be. The text engraving, I misspelled Stuart. It's Stuart. But the Kiwi itself is, it never made it beyond the paint. And that was 50% uh, power. So I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong with this one. Just to paint it black, that engraving looked good. I'm, I'm really glad I didn't spend the time sanding this side off to make it look good. But all in all, today was definitely a fail. I'm not even sure what to learn from, from today other than using just paint that's not water soluble. That might be something to consider in the future. But this cutting board has kind of turned into a bit of a disaster for me this week.